Nuwapians are very peaceful people. We come from all walks of life. We come from all parts of the globe. And we all acknowledge that we as a people should unite on the basis of facts. Belief is something that separates us because you can believe something 100% wrong. How strongly and how convicted you are in your belief doesn't make it right. But we also acknowledge that every individual has their God-given right to believe whatever they want to believe. We don't interfere with other people's beliefs. He who has an ear, let him hear. During the early 90s, we acquired land in Eatonton, Georgia, 404 Shadydale Road. We moved from upstate New York, where there, Dr. York, who is a descendant of Ben York, who is most notable for being the guy during the Lewis and Clark expedition. We have always acknowledged the Native American roots that we have here in America. Contrary to popular belief, not all African people who were in slavery came by way of the transatlantic slave trade. Many slaves who were kidnapped into bondage here in America were actually natives of America. Dr. York acknowledging his Native American roots acquired land in Georgia which ties into Rock Eagle Mound. As many may not know, Native Americans built pyramids here in America. They were known as mounds. And this is something that tied to a tribe here in Georgia known as the Yamasi. Yamasi is a word that means gentle. which also is part of the nature of the Nuwapian. We are not a violent people. We are not a people who are known for terrorist acts or things of that nature. We are people who want to live in peace. And as Dr. York explained, that we as a people, when given the opportunity, we build elaborate cities. We don't build ghettos. We are put in those conditions. When you look at the media portrayal of so-called black people in America, there's very negative connotations. We as a people are only known for greatness when it comes to some form of entertainment, be it sports, acting, comedy, etc. We as a people are not acknowledged for our intellect. One of the things we as Nuwapians do, we study and we teach. So Dr. York, as a teacher, has raised up amongst us students who also have the ability to teach to help educate our people and bring them out of the state of mind that they're in. We have a culture, right? And our culture is Wunawap, right? Yeah. Now, Wunawap is that dormant present in each individual that tells you to question everything. You understand? So all of us have something inside of us called Wunawap, right? That's that, that's, that's that awareness. You have a divine awareness inside of you that says, I have to ask questions. I can't just accept this. 
When I'm out propagating, I met a lot of people and I explained. They asked, what is your religion? Right? And the best answer the Pana Babi Anun has given us is we are animists. And when you look up the word animist, it comes from the word animist, which means soul, Latin word. You know what I'm saying? And those who are animists acknowledge the existence of the soul and that the world of the, un the, 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 world of the animated is controlled by the world of the unanimated. Meaning that the spiritual world is responsible for things that are working on this side, on the physical state of existence. A lot of our people are still in bondage. That bondage is not a physical one, but mentally. They have succumbed to the stereotypes that have been portrayed about our people. The plan for Tamaray was not just to stop with Egypt, but to build many different African civilizations or replicas of those African civilizations where you could come and experience Morocco, Egypt, Ghana, Nigeria, Sudan, so on and so forth, and to experience those cultures right here in America. A theme park similar to Disney World. As you see, the plans for Tamaray was for the upliftment of our people. But all of this was halted by one overzealous sheriff who has strong ties to racism. This was Sheriff Howard Richard Seals. 